Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and a lot of you guys have been asking me about input lags on television, and this is something that a lot of gamers use. But what input lag is, if you have like a gaming console like a PlayStation Pro, and you have a television set, how long does it take for the signal to reach the television? And the reason that's important is if you're playing a video game, then that response time could actually help you win a game or help you lose a game. So in today's video, I have the Leo Bodner Video Input Lag Tester. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. So here we have the Video Input Lag Tester. I paid about $116 from a company over in the UK and I will leave a link to that company and this is not a sponsored video. This is something that I'm going to use in the future. Since you guys like the television uh, videos that I make, I'll be able to tell you guys because the manufacturers on TV companies don't tell you what the input lag is for you gamers and people who use a lot of external sources like uh, Blu-ray players and things like that. And just so you know, it does come with some batteries, a little pamphlet here. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. The way it works is you have a press button on the front and when you press this, this actually sends out a video signal. On the bottom of it, there's an HDMI output that goes over to whatever input you're trying to test on your television set. Now on the back of it, there's a light here that actually sees that signal flicker on your television set and comes back out with a reading on your TV. Pretty cool concept. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you like just a basic monitor that I use off camera and a couple of TV sets. So you kind of get an idea how it works. And if you're serious about gaming or you're basically watching movies and you see a lot of lip syncing problems, this could tell you why that is happening because some better upper end TV sets have a lower video lag and then some of the less expensive ones going to take a little bit longer to get to the signal. So you kind of get an idea how that works. So let's uh, go do some tests. So let me give you guys a quick scenario. Behind me, I have the LG UM7300 series. This is a 2019 model. And here's the video lag tester. So what we're gonna do is I have the TV set up on standard mode. We're gonna do a test and see how many milliseconds it takes to go from here to that TV input. And then as a second test, I'm gonna put the TV in gaming mode and see if it gets faster. So let's get into it. So when I press this button, you're gonna see a bunch of flashing on the screen. And this is the signal coming from the box over to the TV set. In order to test it, all I need to do is just put the box over that light and this gives me a millisecond rating. So right now this TV is doing roughly about 109 milliseconds. Now I have the LG in gaming mode. It should be a lot faster going from the lag tester over to the television set, but let's give it a test. Now look at that. It went all the way down to 10 milliseconds. So the gaming mode definitely makes a improvement on this TV set. Now keep in mind when it's in gaming mode, the picture will appear a little bit darker, but you can see it did speed up the milliseconds time. And here's another example. This is just a 1080p Dell monitor. And you can see it's averaging now almost nine milliseconds. So after doing that quick demo, I was very surprised how well the LG did. I was like 10 milliseconds for a television set, which is kind of comparable to a computer monitor. So there's a rule of thumb. If you're gonna get a computer monitor to do gaming, you wanna have 10 milliseconds or less. If you're gonna do gaming on a television, you wanna have 40 or less. So LG superseded that. And you can see if you're not in gaming mode, you're in the 90s or 100s, so you're gonna have a very chalky image overall compared to the gaming mode. But the trade-off is the picture will be darker. So I don't have all the old TV sets because I know you guys are gonna ask me, hey, how about this TV and that TV? I just don't have those TV sets. But on my future videos, I will be including this and showing you guys for you gamers out there. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And again, I'm going to leave the link to the manufacturer to get one of these guys if you're interested in it. The last thing is in the comments below, tell me what you guys think. Is this something that you would buy just to kind of have laying around to play with? It's pretty cool if you ask me. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.